Shalom Yeshua, first and foremost, I'm going to give all praises and glory to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, Recha Kodash, double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, peace and blessings to the Ovala Akim, that's preached the word in all truth and sincerity, along with the Israelite foreigner brothers that like the heathens, but the line of the side goes back to the nation of Israel, which nation of Israel are you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans through the prophecies and curses of Deuteronomy 28 chapter and throughout the Bible. So this is Brother Yakal Amal from the Branch of Great Mills from L.A. Camp. Back with another lesson. And um, today's lesson will be entitled, The People of the World Will Be Cutthroat in Jacob's Trouble. I'm just going to go on some precepts. And uh, Lord willing, you brothers and your sisters out there, be edified through the spirit and power of Yahweh by Shimon Shai. You know, because as we all know, you know, very soon, when Jacob's Trouble come in America, um, a lot of these people are going to be committing a lot of crimes. A lot of people is going to be bugged out, you know, and us in this knowledge know not to trust these people of the world, you know, when Jacob's trouble come. You know, only ones that we can trust is the Akim, you know, in the faith. You know, if the Lord has it to where, you know, uh, us brothers are together in Jacob's trouble. You know, so I just wanted to go into a lesson in regards to that. And um, before I start the lesson, I defined the word cutthroat, meaning it says uh, a murderer or other violent criminal. You know, it says right here, it says of a person using ruthless methods in a competitive situation. You know, so so let's focus on the first part. It says a murderer or other violent criminal, you know, because a lot of people are going to be committing a lot of crimes, man, murder, stealing, you know, uh, a lot of these men are going to be ravishing these women out here, you know, going to be holding people hostage and stuff. So military troops are going to come down with great wrath, you know, killing these Americans, you know, so it's going to get very bad very soon here in America, man, because as we see it now, you know, with gradualism, you know, a lot of people is, are on edge. You know, a lot of people is, uh, is dealing with a lot, you know, the inflation, the layoffs, you know, financial crisis, you know, relationship problems. You know, a lot of people is sick, you know, so a lot of people are not, uh, don't have a sound mind as of right now. So how much more in, in Jacob's trouble in JT, you know, when it's, when there's uh, no food out here, man, no food and water. But this is uh, Micah 7 to 5, and it reads, Trust you not in a friend, put you not confidence in a God, right, man? And, you know, we apply this now, but we will have to apply this more than ever in Jacob's trouble, you know, because it's going to be a lot of people that's going to pretend to be for our welfare. You know, they're going to pre pretend to try to help us, you know, oh, come with me and join our group. You know, because a lot of people in Jacob's Trouble, they're going to be joining, uh, forming little cliques and uh, groups and stuff, man. You know, to try to survive. You know, uh, you know how it be in them, uh, when you watch some apocalyptic type movies. You know, those, uh, you know, this, those dystopian type of movies. A lot of people always form cliques. And within those cliques, cliques it's always like, you know, infighting. You know, you know, men to be jealous of other, other men and, you know, secretly envious, you know, even, even, to, even to the point of murdering their, their fellow, uh, you know, uh, brother that's in the clique, in the group. You see, so we're not going to, we can't trust no one in Jacob's trouble except for the beloved Akim that's in the faith, you know, it's like but it reads, it says, keep the doors of that mouth from her, that life, and that bosom. Right. You know, and in other words, don't tell your woman everything, you know, because your woman, you know, can um, use whatever you say against her, you know. And the perfect example of that was Samson, you know, when he told Delilah, you know, um, about, you know, uh, you know, the, the Nazarite vow, 
you know, that he had he had strength in his in his locks, in his braids, you know. And he told her and then the um um she told the Philistines and ended up cutting off his braids and then he ended up losing his power. You know, um because he had a the the Nazarite valve was broken, you know. So that's just a prime example that, you know, we're going back to the top of the lesson. You know, we can't trust no one in Jake's control, man. A lot of people, it's going to be, is is you're going to see demons on people. We already see them now. But, man, it's going to, you're really going to see the true nature of these people, man, the animalistic nature of these people, you know. And like I was saying earlier, it's going to be a dystopian society. Let's just get that um, definition. Dystopian, it says, relating to or denoting an imagined state or society where there is great suffering or injustice, man. Some of the synonyms is nightmares, terrifying, gloomy, hellish, um, oppressive, you know, and right, ty tyrannical. So, yeah, so that's what we're going to see in Jacob's Trouble very soon, man, you know. America is going to be turned to a third world country, man. You see? And it's going to be just like, not just like, but just to paint a picture, uh, you know, because it's a saying that, you know, um, picture has a thousand words, you know, like that movie, uh, The Road. You know, that was a dystopian film, and that's how it's going to be out here in Jacob Show, man. A lot of cannibalists out here eating people, forming groups to capture people so they can eat them. It's going to get real bad out here, man. You know, but this is uh, verse 6 in Micah 7. For the son is honor the father, and the daughter rises up against her mother. The daughter-in-law against her mother-in-law. A man's enemies are that man of his own house. Right. And I know how Shai quoted the scripture. You know, so it's going to be... Um, Division within the household, man. You know? So it's going to get real bad, man. And Lord willing, we be all those men that Yahweh Bashmon Shai, he have mercy upon us. You know? Because we're going to need that mercy. Now, as the scripture say, in, in wrath, I just get that. I just thought about that scripture right now. In wrath, remember mercy. Let's see. Remember, this is a, this is a Habakkuk 3 and 2, O Lord, Yahweh. I start verse 1, a prayer of Habakkuk the prophet upon Shiganoth. O Yahweh, I have heard thy speech and was afraid. O Yahweh, revive thy work in the midst of the years. In the midst of the years, make known and wrath remember mercy, man. Right, so in Yahweh by Shemoshah's wrath, you know, we want the Lord to show mercy to us. Because when the Lord bring down our judgment, man, he's not going to be merciful to these people, to two-thirds of Israel and these heathen nations. But what we want is mercy, you know, and that's why we're doing the work now out of fear, you know, so we can have that hedge of protection in Jacob's trouble and so we can, so we can have, be preserved from, from, the, from the plagues, man. You see? So... Let's go to Matthew 24 and verse 12. Out the words of our Lord Yahweh shall, and it reads, And because iniquity shall abound, which iniquity means sin upon sin, you know, and what is sin? Crimes, you know, murders, you know, thefts, you see. Um, so it says, And because iniquity shall abound, crime shall abound, meaning increase. The love of many shall wax cold, man. And we're seeing it now, man. A lot of people is on edge right now. And like I was saying earlier, a lot of people are dealing with a lot of financial um, financial instability. You know, a lot of people is is uh, homeless. You got evictions going up. You know, you got, um, you know, people came in, out here in California. I know Gavin Newsom just signed a, um, uh, a law um, that, you know, the homelessness, uh, to, to ban homelessness, man. And let's, let me just fact check that. I don't want to give out the wrong information. 
the wrong information. Just want to make sure I'm correct on that. Um, ban homelessness. Just want to make sure I'm correct on that. Okay, so yeah, it's not an actual law, but you know that's it's in the it's in the works. It says Governor Gavin Newsom issues executive order for removal of homeless encampments in California. California government, gov it's like California Governor Gavin Newsom, buoyed by a recent U.S. Supreme Court decision, issued an executive order Thursday calling on state officials to begin taking down homelessness encampments. So yeah, so that's. So a lot of people dealing with that. So, you know, uh, uh, shoplifting been increasing because a lot of people can't afford um, ne uh, their necessities due to this inflation, due to things being too high, you know? So a lot of people is on edge right now, man, and, and we see it, you know? But how much more in Jacob's trouble when there's no food and water out here? Because Esau knows, at least Esau know that... uh. Uh, food is a big. Uh, that that one of the elites said, um, if he control the food, control the people. So the elites of Esau, they know that if you're able to control the food, the food supply, then you can control the people mindset. You know, cause like that saying, you're not a uh, snicker commercial. You're not you when you're hungry. So these people, man, they're gonna be doing whatever they need to for uh. To eat a lack of, uh, to, to get some bread, eat some food, man. You know, so Esau, they know that famine is the biggest motivator for these people to submit to the New World Order, which their New World Order is the MOTB. You know, the implantable device that will go in either hands or your forehead, according to Revelation 13 16. You see? So, so yes, yeah, so a couple more precepts I'm gonna end, two more precepts. Um, Jeremiah 9 and 4. It says, take heed every one of his neighbor. You know, so mean to pay attention to every of our neighbor. You know, our fellow Israelite, you know, um, brothers. You know, I won't call them brothers, but fellow Israelite, um, you know, our, 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 our people. You know, take heed to our own people because our own people be the ones that be the biggest demons to us. To it. our people are our biggest enemies. You know? It says, and trust ye not in any brother, for every brother will early supplant, meaning, you know, finesse. And every neighbor will walk with slanders, man. So yeah, so this is going on back then in Jeremiah's day. You know, so you know, we're gonna have to apply the same um scripture right now in, in Jacob's trouble. There's going to be a lot of days they're going to be supplanting, man, and finessing people, and we can't fall for that trap. See? It says, uh, last scripture, second edges. This is the book of second edges, chapter 6 and verse 24. At that time shall friends fight one another against like, it's like a little excited. Second Edges six and twenty four, at that time shall friends fight one and one against another like enemies. So yeah, so you know all these you know your neighbors, you know uh, you may um, may have been like some friends that knew each other since childhood, since their youth, but in Jacob's trouble they're gonna fight against each other like enemies. You know going back to Matthew twenty four and twelve, the love of many won't wax cold. And the earth shall stand in fear with those that dwell therein. The springs of the fountains shall stand still, and in three hours they shall not run. Right, so just want to focus on the first part. And it says, at that time shall friends fight one against another like enemies, and that's going to happen, man. You know, you may see your neighbors, you know, that that's cool with other neighbors. Hey, that's going to change Jacob's trouble, man. They're going to they're gonna be fighting against each other, and in some cases killing each other. If it get to that point, you know, um, in Jacob's trouble, which I see that happening, man, because especially when food is on the line, you know, people, the, the, your neighbors, 
as you see, they're going to be, you know, offing each other, man, deleting each other, you know, all because of food and water. So, so yeah, I just want to make a lesson on that. You know, the people of the world will be cut through in Jacob's trouble. And, you know, trust no one in Jacob's trouble, Akim, except for the beloved Akim that's in the faith that you labor with, your fellow yokemen, you know. So, you know, Lord.